Good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Morris, Chairman of the Cabarrus County Commission, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all to this swearing-in ceremony for our new sheriff this morning. Uh, there are some empty chairs up here. If anybody would like to come up and, and have a seat, we would encourage you to do that. This is quite, quite an experience for us because this is the first time in 18 years that we've had a formal swearing-in ceremony for our sheriff. Our previous sheriff, of course, was sworn in each time he was re-elected, uh, but this is the first time we've had a public ceremony in quite, quite a long time. So we're all very excited about it. There are a uh, few people here, special guests, that I'd like to introduce. Uh, Tana Shaw, wife of our incoming sheriff. Good to see you this morning. Also, um, Van's mother and father, Mr. and Ms. Worth Shaw, at, here at the same table. And also his mother-in-law, Faye Moody. Uh, so it's certainly a pleasure to have you with us here today in Cabarrus County. You know, in thinking about a swearing-in ceremony, which we've got this one this morning, and then we'll have we'll be swearing in our newly re-elected county commissioners this afternoon. Uh, you have to think about all the comments that we have heard on the news over the past few days about George H. W. Bush, uh, and I think a lot of those comments are very striking. I think it sends a strong message to all of our elected officials and what we're about. And of course, one of the headlines was a kinder, gentler nation is what George Bush strived for. And I think that's a good lesson for all of us. And, and as we listen to some of the other words uh, that, that have been stated about him and by him, and I, I didn't try to acknowledge who these comments came from, but honor, integrity, and character you saw that repeated over and over. Grace, civility, uh, and social conscience uh, was mentioned another time. And that is something that over the past years that I've served as a county commissioner, I've learned a lot about law enforcement, uh, the sheriff's department and all our law enforcement offices. But one thing that is striking to me, I always thought that our law enforcement people were about catching the bad guy putting them in jail, punishing them, or most importantly, catching me speeding down Branchview. But I have found that that's, that's not the case at all. When you talk with our law enforcement agencies, they are very engaged with, they, they, they're not just trying to catch the bad guys or when somebody comes into their custody or they have contact with them, they are very attentive to what the problems are and what the reasons are and how we can prevent uh, those things from happening in the future and make people's lives better and make our community safer. So these guys are, are way high up on the list when we talk about honor and integrity. Uh, having the opportunity to work with all of our law enforcement agencies with our mental health task force and our stepping up program and some of the other things that they're involved in uh, to make this a better place to live has certainly been gratifying. One of the other comments I heard was we badly need to bring some stability back into our public discourse. And I think we have that here in Cabarrus County. It certainly has been a goal of ours over the past few years uh, any of you that may have been at the reception for our outgoing sheriff this past week heard me say the relationship between the county and the sheriff's department is, is kind of unique. Uh, and, it's, and I said the sheriff's department, which I said I would not say because that's incorrect. It is the sheriff's office. Uh, the sheriff's office is not a department of the county. Uh, it's unique amongst all, all the other divisions because the sheriff is elected by the people of the county and is answerable to them. And so when we talk to other counties across the state, uh, frequently they have very difficult problems dealing with the sheriff's department in the county. We don't have that problem here in Cabarrus County. We have a, a great relationship. Uh, one that has existed for quite some time, and I feel comfortable under new leadership will continue to exist. Um, 
one of the other little tidbits that I, that I saw stated, which I thought was very appropriate for all elected officials, there will be t very tough times made even more difficult by criticism that you think is unfair. Don't let the critics just discourage you or push you off course. And, and I don't think that will be a problem with our incoming sheriff. I think he will always stay on course uh, and he will understand and be able to deal with those people that might, for whatever reason, time, from time to time disagree with him. But at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Senior Superior Court Judge Marty McGee, who will conduct our swearing in. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the opportunity to administer the oath uh, to Sheriff Shaw. First, however, assisted uh, by Judge Clarence Horton's work, I'd like to provide a brief history of the office of sheriff. The sheriff is the oldest public officer in the old North State. A descendant of the English Shire Reeve, it dates back before the Norman Conquest. In 1662, the General Court of Virginia appointed a commissioner who was authorized to appoint a sheriff for this region. When Cabarrus County was formed in December 1792, the Court of Pleas and Quarter Sessions was composed of justices of the peace appointed by the governor. They heard minor civil and criminal matters and also carried out administrative duties such as maintaining public buildings and roads building bridges, and setting uh, tax rates. The county court elected local officials, such as the sheriff, and required that he post a bond to guarantee faithful compliance with the various duties of the office. The court met quarterly and elected its first Cabarrus County Sheriff in January 1793. We meet this morning to administer the oath to the 38th sheriff in that distinguished line. The North Carolina sheriffs perform duties that we would consider both judicial and administrative. He served, as, he served as bailiffs of the courts, was responsible for housing and transportation of prisoners, serving various papers as directed by the county court, and collected taxes due to the county and state governments. The hardworking sheriff was paid commissions for many of these tasks he performed, such as tax collection, and the fees for services of, service of court papers made him one of the more prosperous of county officials. He, he possessed a reputation for unquestioned honesty, courage, and good judgment. As county government evolved in the early 19th century, the sheriff was elected by popular vote of his fellow citizens and continued to be both highly respected and an influential political leader. His areas of responsibilities remain about the same for several centuries, although in the 1940s the Office of Tax Collector began taking over the duties in most counties. The sheriff retains the duties of bailiff, jailer, executive officer of the courts, and keeper of the county. Much of the sheriff's oath of office remains the same over the long history of the office, providing a tie between this sheriff-elect and a long line of faithful guardians who have labored to keep the peace in our community. Our first sheriff was Archibald Houston. Our 11th sheriff was my fourth great-grandfather, William Archibald, who served from 1828 until 1838. He lived on Flow Store Road in an area that now includes the Cedar Grove AME Zion Church. It must have taken him a half a day to get from there to his office on a horse. Many of you knew Sheriff J.B. Roberts, who passed away in 2016. When he started with the Sheriff's Office in 1951, he was the fifth law enforcement officer with the department that has now grown to over 300. He said he was given a hat and a badge. There were no uniforms and deputies had to supply their own gun and car. 
J.B. became sheriff in 1956 when Toby Logan resigned and served until 1982 when Sheriff Kennedy took the reins. As everyone knows, Sheriff Riley served from 2002 until his retirement this past Friday. Sheriff Roberts, Sheriff Kennedy, and Sheriff Riley served so long and so well that it is easy to take this difficult responsibility for granted. Hiring and supervising hundreds of employees, ensuring the security of our courts, seeing that the jail is properly run, as well as supervising all of the other law enforcement, law enforcement responsibilities the office has throughout the county is no easy task. We have had a long line of outstanding sheriffs, and Cabarrus looks forward to number 38 serving in this outstanding tradition. Sheriff Shaw, are you ready to take your oath? If you'll please come forward with Ms. Shaw. Place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and maintain the Constitution and the laws of the United States, the Constitution and the laws of North Carolina, not inconsistent therewith, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of your office as Sheriff of Cabarrus County, so help you God? I will. And do you solemnly and sincerely swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of North Carolina and to the constitutional powers and authorities which are or may be established for the government thereof, and that you will endeavor to support, maintain, and defend the constitution of said state, not inconsistent with the constitution of the United States, to the best of your knowledge and ability, so help you God. I will. And do you solemnly swear that you will execute the office of Sheriff of Cabarrus County to the best of your knowledge and ability, agreeably to law, and that you will not take, accept, or receive directly or indirectly any fee, gift, bribe, gratuity, or reward whatsoever for returning any man to serve as a juror or for making any false return on any process to you so directed, so help you God. I will. Congratulations, Sheriff. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. The good news is I wrote my notes on a post note. So. Um, I, I want to thank each and every one of y'all that, that came today. It, it means the world to me. There are so many dear friends in the room, uh, work colleagues, individuals that I've met throughout my career, and, and those of you that I'll be working with in the future. It's an exciting day for me. It's an exciting day for our agency uh, that we've looked forward to. And I, I just can't describe to you the enthusiasm of which I bounded out of bed this morning with. Um, so we start a journey, and, and in any journey, and there, there's commitments to be made. And, and the commitment that I want to make is, is first and foremost to uphold the honor and integrity of this office. This office re represents so much. It re represents so much across North Carolina. There's uh, approximately 40 sheriffs being sworn in today, new sheriffs. So it's something that's amazing in that in this great state, every four years, there's a changeover of an office that's saddled with the responsibility of keeping a county safe. And it goes seamless. And it's, it's because of the dedication of the men and women that work in those offices each and every day. So I'm eternally grateful to them uh, and want you to know that I'll do everything within my power to protect the dignity of this office and also the dignity and honor of Cabarrus County. Um, I also commit to the community uh, to be a sheriff that's open, that's transparent, that communicates with the community, 
that understands the needs of the community in good times and bad to make sure that, that we talk, we meet with each other, we have the opportunity to sit down and discuss our differences and sometimes agree to disagree. I ask the community to have faith in me, to give me that opportunity to gather the facts that I will need in times of trouble and then come to you and explain the situation. I think it's inherent for that trust to be there between the community and law enforcement so that you know at our heart we're doing everything we can to bring about justice regardless of the situation. Next is my commitment to the employees of the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office. I commit to them to be a strong leader, to move them forward. We have a wonderful agency, an agency that every citizen in this county should be proud of. They come and go to work each and every day, the men and women of this office. So I commit to them to do the very best I can to advance the agency, to make it better than what I, what I found it, and to develop leadership so that when my day comes to move on, that there'll be strong leadership to carry on the mission of the Sheriff's Office for this great county. I also have a commitment to county government to work with you to collaborate with all departments of county government to make sure we achieve the goals that are in the best interest of our citizens. So each and every agency working together is what brings about the community we have in this day and age. I travel a lot and I meet so many people that have so many wonderful things to say about this county. And that's not just because of the sheriff. That's because of our criminal justice system, our county government system, all those departments that make it work each and every day, and all the dedicated employees. I commit to work with each and every one of them to make sure we continue to be as great as we are and to continue to achieve the goals that we set. I want to make sure that, that each and every citizen in Cabarrus County understands the commitment that I undertake from their standpoint. Uh, whether they supported me or not, I'm their sheriff. Regardless of their political affiliation, I'm their sheriff. Regardless of their socioeconomic status in this community, I'm their sheriff. And I will be here regardless of any of those issues to support them, to fight for them, to protect them, to make a community safe for the children to grow up in, to be educated in, and to prosper in. That's my commitment to this county. That's my commitment to all of y'all. And I thank you so much for being here today. God bless.